Hi everyone. In this video, let's discuss what is pie chart. So in the previous two videos, we have already discussed uh, bar chart as well as histogram. So in this video, let's see the pie chart. Uh, we have already discussed bar chart, right? So what we what's the bar chart means? We used to represent what's the frequency of each category in the form of a uh, bars. So similarly here in the pie chart we will just represent all those things like in the form of pie diagram so let's see what's the pie diagram and how we how we can just represent that so for that first i just imported matplotlib as well as numpy and so let's consider this uh, list of values as subjects like number of subjects in each semester and let's plot this so in order to plot a pie chart let's use pld.py of pld.py of and let's plot subjects so you can see uh, we have like six uh, values in the list and we have say, um, say some different values right six five six seven eight eight so these are the number of subjects in each semester and when we just plot this data uh, in pie chart you can see the distribution of like so just what it will do means it will just divide this complete uh, all the subjects as in equal proportion so here we have this six right so what's the percentage of six in 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 total number of subjects around 40 right total we have around 40 so in that 40 what's the percentage of six so accordingly it will just divide this uh, pie chart now you can see this pie chart is yeah it's looking good we have some different colors we don't we don't have the labels right now we don't have the labels like uh, which is six which is eight which is the uh, what is the number of subjects in same one same eight so we can't have all those things so let's try to plot the title let's try to plot the labels as well so for that i will just use so here we can just specify the labels so we can see we just have i just specified our labels right for each sim so yeah if i just now if i just try to run this now you can say now you can see we can able to find right so which is of the same one which is like so yeah now it's looking better and even now we just have like if we and also if you just want to change the colors so instead of this default colors if you just want to change that and similarly you can just pass the list of six values six colors which you just want for each section and you can just pass that and you can just get uh, change the colors as well and also and also we just have some few arguments uh see we have the explode right we have this explode section so let's try to explode is equal to so you can see i just in the explode i just pass it so you can see in the explode i just pass it some six values right so zero 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 one zero zero so what it will do means so the value where, where we have just given the one it will just explode that particular section so what's this one same one two three four this is the fourth same right so in that in the pie chart it will just explode that section so when i just run this so you can see the same four section is exploded right it just uh, taken out so yeah so if you want to do such thing so you can just do this and similarly we have some other arguments and also we just have this shadow right we just have this shadow argument uh, shadow is equal to false actually if we just make shadow is equal to true so you can see like uh, around this around the graph you can see we just have some shadow like right so you can see this here we just have some shadow like property here so that's what we will just when you just put shadow is equal to true and if you just want to specify the percentages so what's the percentage of this sum for uh, number of subjects here and what's the percentage of each section so you can just do that for that we can just so for that we just have another option so that is this auto pct like auto percentage so auto percentage so here i just mentioned some a float value like what should be the percentage in which like what is the point uh the how the percentage should look like so the percentage will up, will have up to two decimal points and you can see here right and when i just run this so you can see the percentage of each section 15 percent 17.5 20 20 15 12.5 right so yeah this is how you can just generate the percentage of each section and this is about pie chart it's similar to that of bar chart but here we want to represent in the form of pie diagram 
so yeah that's it for this video i hope you understood this pie chart if you feel this video is helpful i like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe and thanks for watching